All right, boys and girls, here is a little bit of an explanation on Friday's work. So the first assignment as you go into the um, links is the color factivity. You guys are familiar with what's expected entering the um, products before coloring it in. Now, if you wanted to um, simply enter the products digitally, um, that is a great way to go about it. Um, just enlarging it and then click in the box and then obviously um, type in your products. Um, you'll hover over that space below the two factors, click in, and then you can um, save it. Or if you wanted to print it out and do it all by hand and color it in, that's ideal. That's the best way. But we want to do um, some things to get around the whole printing aspect. So straightforward on the um, color factivity, then bring your lunch or buy at school from Thursday, um, is the other assignment. So you'll have to back out. And if you go to your classwork tab, um, they'll be listed. So you go back to Thursday and we'll view the assignment. Um, and if you go in there, you can see that a number of students, um, had finished those assignments, particularly the writing. So we'll use Jelena as an example. So if we go into her attachments, um, we can see over here on the right-hand side those files that she has finished and um, turned in. So here we have the first one is the math, and the second one would be um, her writing. So without having looked at it already, we'll see what um, Jelena was able to uh, accomplish. So she's got um, the start of it. So she'd rather bring her lunch um, from home than school. What we want to do is make sure we're getting at least three on each side because as you brainstorm, you might be open up to a different perspective. Plus, what we want to do is make sure that we're giving three strong details for our side, as well as reducing the strongest point for the opposition. So um, Jelena and a number of us have some more work to do on um, the Thursday writing sample. So back to um, our tribe list of assignments for Friday. So we'll close Thursdays and come back to Friday. So we have... Um, the color factivity to do, finishing up your uh, writing when it comes to um, lunch or buy-in. Then um, we want you to spend some time on Splash Math. The link should be pretty straightforward. And then Academic Skill Builders all down here. Then when you go to Scholastic News, um, there won't be an assignment for you to necessarily um, produce any answers. But what we want you to do, much like we do in the classroom, um, is to read each of the articles, look at all of the graphics and supplementary um, text features from captions and graphs and things. Um, and then the last page is going to give you um, a chance to answer some of those questions. So do them mentally, and we might be able to explore creating an assignment for that. So once you click on the link and log in, go to student, and again, it'll give you the um, welcome menu, and tribe dud one is our sign in. So what that will allow you to do is um, access any of those um, previous issues as well as the issue we're going to look at this week. So explore the current issue. We're going to click on that and obviously the English uh, version. So the presentation view and then it will offer um, the English view for us. So once you get into Scholastic, <clears throat> It'll guide you through each of the pages and hover over any of those icons to make sure the videos that um, are able to be shared, um, you get a chance to view each of those. So as I'm hovering, you know, it doesn't appear to be a video link on the first page, but we definitely want to, you know, zoom in and read it. Um, so that you're able to see each of those features. And as we get into that second page, we'll definitely find a video link 
to hover over. So here, um, as you read, it'll give you um, different things to link on to. Um, and our video here is the um, enhancing what's talked about in the article. Good to go. So um, walking us through Scholastic News, that will um, take us into the next couple of pages. Um, real good center layout there. And then finally, um, <clears throat> here we have those questions. So we haven't set it up for you to be able to write in there yet, but I want you to make mental note of what your responses would be, at least for this um, session on Friday. And what I want you to do is really take a look at this debate it session um, where we're going to continue to look at debating and persuading and giving an opinion. So this will be a good example of um, taking a stance on telling on a cheater or not telling on them and the dilemma that um, comes up when we encounter those things. So again, we've got um, Scholastic news, and then to finish things up for tomorrow, you can read independently, get on to Raz Kids or Epic. So a lot of Friday will be finishing previous work throughout the week, um, as well as getting on some reinforcing or enriching activities when it comes to facts and other things. So hopefully that's a good explanation of what we expect um, for Friday's work. And then Monday's video, um, there will be a PDF slide looking at um, our concept for the day that we'll work on in math. And I'll walk us through um, a little bit of learning that lesson as well as specifically how to answer those questions in the workbook uh, or extra practice pages. So I am very, very excited, boys and girls. We are definitely getting into kind of that third phase of um, online learning. And I want you to know that my effort will be maximized to make our um, learning as positive, fun, and interactive as possible. I was totally stoked about how well we handled our time on um, Zoom. So I will look forward to Monday's Zoom session at 10 o'clock a.m. And uh, we'll look to Zoom as regularly as is helpful um, for all of us. So I miss you very much. This is Mr. Dudrick, your uh, school dad. Peace and love. Out.